40 million Volkswagens and counting, built at the world's biggest auto plant, spread over six and a half square kilometers. In fact, the factory is so big, most workers have a bike to get around. But size doesn't always mean economies of scale. Volkswagen wants to raise profit margin above last year's 2.4% to 6% by 2017. You have to see in the last uh, two years we started to completely rebuild all plants. This is in the first time a high expenditure, uh, but now it goes down because we have spent a lot of money in the past to have the highest flexibility we can have. What the company says is unique about this factory is the assembly line. You've got six different versions here and you can swap them out depending on demand. Up here is a normal Golf, up there is the GTE. We are, I think, the only uh, manufacturer which is able to produce with a very high flexibility uh, bumper behind bumper, e-cars, plug-in cars, or normal engine cars. And to improve efficiency is never the wrong way. Okay, these are self-driving engines. Well, they're not driving themselves, but they're being ferried around, and they'll know when to stop right about here. We are here at the Hochzeit station, or marriage spot. This is where the union happens between the engine from below and the body of the car. But for their wedding night, I'm going to give them a little privacy. Germany has strong workers' councils. They enforce their brakes. This is empty, and they also enforce the music. The question for management is how to enforce efficiency in a factory so big it has its own rules.